We're in a recession. We're not in a recession. The recession is postponed. The recession is delayed. Well, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, guys. In fact, if we go into a recession, many people say recessions is where wealth is built. If we do hit a recession, I'm not gonna trip. I'm just gonna build wealth. But at the end of the day, if we are in a recession, if we're not in a recession, at the end of the day, we want to receive a check in the mail every single month in the form of dividends by doing absolutely nothing that is called passive income. As you guys know, I say dividends is the best form of passive income because you literally do nothing at all except for let these big giant companies run. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys all, I'm all of my dividend paying stocks that I invest into. Now, now I'm just gonna give you the ones that I invest into specifically for their dividends because yes, I invest into Apple and I invest into Nvidia, but both of those have state, they pay dividends, but they don't really pay dividends that you could survive off of. It's less than a percent. It's less than a percent that they pay out in dividends. So I'm not gonna be focused on um, Nvidia or Apple or companies like that. Those are my growth stocks. I'm gonna show you companies that I'm investing into specifically for their dividends in this video. Every single last one, I'm gonna give that to you guys in this video. So make sure you stay throughout the entire video so you don't miss out on any crucial information. But before we dive into all of my stocks, this video is brought to you by Moomoo. Moo. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description. You can receive up to 13 free stocks. That's right, 13 stocks just from signing up for Moomoo. Moo. Deposit $100, you get even more stocks. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm going to leave that link down in the description. You sign up, deposit $100, get your free stocks. Once you get them, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it or you can sell those free stocks and withdraw all of your money guys it's literally free money do not miss out on the opportunity that's 13 stocks also i'm gonna leave a link in the description with weeble you sign up with weeble deposit any amount of money just one penny if you want to and you can receive up to 12 free stocks valued up to around thirty thousand dollars so do not miss out on free money guys so if we do head into a recession just know that you got some free stock options uh, available to you right here with those links down in the description. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are on my Robinhood account. Now I'm gonna give you guys what companies I'm investing into and why I'm investing into each one of these dividend paying companies. Now on Robinhood, my account is at $98,963.35. Over the last week, had a pretty good week. And over the last month, had a pretty doggone good month, up 21%. Still recovering over the crash that we had over the last couple of months, heading into a recession. But like I said, I'm not tripping if we head into a recession. So let's go ahead and scroll down to some of my dividend paying stocks. The first one is Clorox, ticker symbol CLS. Clorox produce a lot more things than just um, bleach. They produce, they, they, they have a lot of different items inside of their portfolio, even barbecue items inside of their portfolio. So that's why I love the company Clorox. But the reason I really love them is because they have a 3.18% dividend yield, and they are dividend aristocrats. Now, dividend aristocrat is a company that's inside of the S&P 500 and have been increasing their dividends for the last 25 years. Now, with Clorox, they have been increasing their dividends every single year for the last 44 years, so they're very close to becoming dividend kings. In order to become a dividend king, you have to increase your dividends every single year for the last 50 years. So if we do head into a recession, I like investing into companies like Clorox because I know because they're so close to becoming dividend kings that they're probably not gonna cut their dividends in the time of a recession because companies like this have been through pandemics, recessions, um, depressions, all types of stuff like that and still have found a way to increase their dividends that year. So I like investing to good quality stocks like Clorox in a somewhat recession, not recession, postponed recession. I know at the end of the day, they're gonna pay me out their dividends and then they're not gonna cut their dividends at all. So that is ticker symbol CLX. The next one is Procter & Gamble. Companies like Procter & Gamble thrive in a recession because they make everything inside of the grocery store. In fact, over the last year, when everything is down, Procter & Gamble is still up 2.53%. I'm talking about companies are still down 40, 50, 60%. Procter & Gamble is up 2% and also they have a dividend yield of 2.43% and they also have been increasing their dividends for 65 
years. They're not going to cut their dividends. I don't care what happened. They're not going to cut them. So I like to invest into good companies like Clorox and Procter Gamble that pays out a, a pretty good dividend and they've been increasing their dividends every single year for the last 65 years. This is something I'm gonna pass on to my kids and they can pass on to their kids. And they're gonna make passive income every single month for the rest of their life, investing into good quality companies like Procter & Gamble. So with Procter & Gamble being our first dividend king, our second dividend king will be 3M, ticker symbol MMM. Now they have been increasing their dividends for the last 60 three years that's right almost just as long as Procter gamble they're not going to cut theirs at all in fact they have a dividend amazing dividend yield of 3.9 percent and i receive dividends from them every single quarter that means they pay out their dividends every three months four times a year the next one is johnson and johnson over the last year johnson and johnson is just down 5.6 percent johnson and johnson have been increasing their dividends for the last 59 years so they've been dividend kings for around nine years now so um justin justin's not going to cut their dividends at all they don't have a really high dividend yield on johnson and johnson but it is 2.61 percent and and they are our third um dividend king so we got Procter and gamble we got 3m and we got johnson and johnson all dividend kings our next one is waste management i love investing to waste management over the last year they're up 14 percent i'm up 36 percent on waste management i don't specifically invest into them just for dividends i just love this company man they're pretty good um they're always going up they never go down um over the last five years their line just goes up and they also have a decent dividend yield. It's not amazing. It's okay, but it's a 1.43% dividend yield. And waste management usually performs well as one of the top utilities to have inside of your portfolio. The next one is AT&T, ticker symbol T. They have not been performing too well inside my portfolio, down 41%. Over the last year, they're down 13%. Now, the reason why a lot of people was investing into AT&T was because they had a high dividend yield of 8.73%. Remember, when companies have a super high dividend yield paying back out to their investors, they don't have that much money to reinvest back into growing their own company, so you have to be careful. So one of the bad ones I did invest into was AT&T. I did sell a couple of their shares at the top, so I didn't um, lose too much. I just kept a couple inside of this portfolio. But yeah, just because you see a high dividend yield stock with an 8.73% dividend yield don't mean it's an amazing dividend paying company because they could get cut at any time and they actually don't grow that well because their dividends are so high, they don't have enough money to invest back inside of their own company. The next one is PepsiCo. They are dividend, I'm gonna say they're dividend kings. They've been increasing their dividends for the last 49 years at any time now. I think maybe at the end of this quarter, one of these quarters is gonna go from 49 over to 50. So they have been increasing their dividends for the last 50 years. And this would be the next dividend king pet company inside of our portfolio. I love PepsiCo, ticker symbol PEP. They have a dividend yield of 2.47%. The next one is Coca-Cola, same thing, dividend king. Um, Coca-Cola always performed well. I'm a supporter of that product. Tastes amazing. Dividend yield of 2.7%. Okay, now we're moving on to some of my top paying monthly dividend stocks. That means they pay out their dividends every single month. You're gonna get a check from these companies. One of the first dividend ETFs I've invested into was SPHD. It is a high dividend, low uh, volatility ETF over the last year. They're up 5.16%. So that means they have many different companies inside their portfolio that have high dividends. In fact, you can look at their sectors right here and you can look at that top 10 holdings that they have inside their portfolio and they have a sweet dividend yield of 3.82 percent and they pay me out every single month so if we scroll down you guys can see i get paid around four dollars and 25 cents four dollars and 22 cents so i get paid around four dollars and 25 cents every single month just from holding how many shares i have 30 shares of sphd just imagine if i had 300 or 3,000 shares of sphd i would receive a large paycheck every single month and that is amazing that's why i invest into sphd but this is not my best monthly paying dividend stocks we will get into that i am up 15 percent on sphd the next one is agnc this is a real estate REIT. they invest into real estates they are required by law to pay out 90 percent of their taxable income back to their investors through the form of dividends and this is also a monthly pay dividend stock um i am down a little bit 11 percent, but i've made that back in dividends and 
no time I own 119 shares and they have a high dividend yield of 11.27%. Real estate REITs usually have a higher paying dividend than other stocks. So if we scroll down, as you guys can see, I'm getting paid this every single month, $14, $14, $14, $14 for every single month. So I'm not really down on agency i'm really up because they pay me out their dividends every single month so let's scroll through these a little faster spyd same thing as sphd no difference really up 15 percent monthly paying dividend stock you could choose either one spyd or sphd they're pretty similar but out of all of them my favorite one is pey for the high yield etfs that i invest into on pey i'm up 33 percent that's way higher than any of the other companies in that. and they have a dividend yield of 3.87 percent and i've been receiving around seven dollars from them every single month from pey ritm they have a dividend yield of 9.85 percent and i receive 50 dollars from them every single quarter in fact i just received the 50 dollar payment from them they pay me 25 cents per share and i own 200 shares so they give me 50 dollars. this is one of my highest paying dividend um, companies that i own inside of my portfolio ritm the next one is another real estate REIT, uh realty income ticker symbol O. i've been investing into them for a while up 15 percent and they have a dividend yield of 3.91 percent a lot of people credit ticker symbol O realty income as being the monthly paying dividend stock so if, so if you guys run a real estate REIT to invest into uh i me not financial advice i will invest into ticker symbol O realty income iipr this is the next one can't really talk about them on youtube don't want to get demonetized do your own research um they have a high dividend yield of 6.60 percent let's see we got microsoft nvidia delta airlines southwest airlines but i invest into those, those pay dividends but i invest into them for growth reasons so i'm not gonna just add them to my list psec this is another monthly paying dividend stock ticker symbol psec i'm up 77 percent on psec they're up to eight dollars and 11 cents over the last year they're down 1.58 percent and they have a dividend yield of 8.86 percent paying their dividends out every single month and the last one i'm going to bring you guys is qyld i just recently made a video about them if you want to check that out you could click this right here that'll take you to that video qyld is a cover call etf if you don't know how to do cover calls i highly recommend that you learn that's why i did in my last video so you guys should probably go check that one out on how i make more money in cover calls than i make in dividends i can make more money in one week than i can in an entire quarter of dividends so if you guys want to check that out but if you don't know how to do cover calls you can invest into a company like qyld they do it for you and they pay it out back to their investors in the form of dividends so qyld they have a dividend yield of 11.73 percent and they pay out every single month as well to their investors right now i have a reoccurring buy of 20 dollars every single market day that is open i'm investing 20 dollars into that company so right now i'm all the way up to 15 shares and i'm going to keep this running all the way till i retire hopefully i can have around 1500 shares in there by the time i retire and i'm gonna <laughs> and with 1500 shares i'll be getting so much in the form of dividends from just this one etf and that's it guys since you was wondering what dividend stocks i have inside my portfolio that is them that's not all of my dividend stocks those are just the ones i invest into specifically just for dividends and if they're what dividend kings or dividend aristocrats that's why i'm investing into them but if you want to know every single time i buy and sell a stock check out the link in the comment section that'll take you to my patreon the patreon will take you to my discord inside of the discord i post every single time i buy and sell a stock all of my option trades swing trade cover calls and we also have pro day traders in there that post their option trades every single day and you'll also be a part of a great community of people just like you that want to invest into that financial freedom so if that sounds like something you want to be a part of check out that link down in the comment section but other than that guys i've just had to show you guys all of my dividends because i've been getting questions hey show us your dividend show us your dividend portfolio well there you go make sure that you subscribe to this channel so don't miss out on any future videos because i do plan on doing a video where i show you guys my entire portfolio whether they pay dividends or not uh my growth stocks uh stocks i swing trade all my option trades my leap options i'm going to show you all of that so make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace